Hey everybody, this is Erin from Don's Appliances and today I'm going to show you how to properly load your sheets in a front load washer. Sounds simple, I know, but one of the biggest things that people complain about is how tangled sheets become in the washer, moving them from the washer to the dryer. So I'm going to tell you and show you one of the most effective ways I have found to load my front load washer to avoid that as much as possible. Now again, there's nothing in your washer that's gonna help separate those as it's moving, but this I have found does help at least a little bit. So, I have my sheets and I also have our guest bedroom sheets here. I am not gonna wash the comforter with this. I'm gonna do that separately. Number one, I wanna try to get as much of this as clean as possible and get the soap moving through and sometimes when you add too much in there, it can't get all the soap out and it just doesn't, I, in my opinion, doesn't effectively clean as well as it could. So. I am going to first, what I do is I kind of take all of my sheets and with my fitted sheet and kind of put it in like a sack like Santa Claus and carry it down because I found that works the best. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna separate all that. I'm gonna first take my fitted sheet and I'm going to almost throw it in like what I would a basketball. So I'm not going to like ring it around. I'm almost gonna kind of put it into like a pile like this and then I'm gonna set it in. I'm gonna do the same thing with the flat sheet, make sure that there's no pillowcases stuck in there. Again, kind of just put it in a pile and lay it in there. The problem is when you actually just throw everything in together, that's where things kind of get caught, especially those pillowcases. So again, making sure shaking everything out, making sure nothing is in this, kind of doing that, like I said, that little pile, putting that in, and then I'm gonna individually start loading all those pillowcases. You see here, just one at a time, just making sure that they don't get caught up in with each other. Here's that fitted sheet. Again, just shaking it out, making sure that nothing's in there. That is how my washer is going to look. So the kind of the rule of thumb, since in a front load washer, there's no actual agitator, I kind of pretend like my arm's an agitator. And what I do is I just make sure that there's enough room to actually agitate the clothes. So as long as I can push my, let my arm the whole way back, then I know that there's gonna be enough room to circulate the clothes. So what I'm gonna do, close my washer. Oh, we have a guest here. This is our cat, Elliot. <laughs> and I'm going to take my Excelsior detergent. I typically have a little medicine cap that I use, but we're gonna eyeball it today. And I'm going to load my detergent, and that is all I need. That was probably about a medicine cap. So you can see, I didn't even go to that line or the max line. And that is really all I need. I'm going to shut this. Now, this is where people ask me a lot of questions. What cycle to use? This LG washer does have the bedding cycle. Sometimes I use the bedding, sometimes I use the delicate. Truly at this point, it really just matters on what is best for you. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go to the bedding. As you can see over here, it is gonna preset to warm, medium spin, normal soil level, and then I keep the signal on low so I can go do other chores around the house. That is all. I'm gonna let the machine do its job and I'm gonna hit go. And that's it. So we're gonna wait about an hour and then we're gonna come back and then move it on over and I'll show you how the sheets turned out. All right, so our cycle has officially finished. So let's take out everything and see how it turned out. So first we have fitted sheet. No tangles, looks pretty good. Let's take a look inside the washer. You can see nothing's really too tangled. Things pretty easily removed. Nothing's, I'm not pulling very hard. Everything's kind of just exactly how I put it in, which is awesome. Here's that fitted, that dreadful fitted sheet. Oh, here, everything kind of fell out on that one. But as so you can see here, another flat sheet, pretty good. The fitted sheet, got a couple Couple things cut tucked in, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Get these off the floor. And then the rest, I think we just have some pillowcases. So all in all, I think this was definitely one of our better kind of strategies for the way to load your front load washer. So we're gonna put this in the dryer and then we're gonna wash this separately. Thanks so much for joining us. Stop by one of our showrooms to see what washer and dryer best fits your lifestyle.